Hello, uh, welcome to today's class. Uh, today's class will again be on intelligent agents. In the last class, we saw what we mean by an agent, and in today's class, we will see what is a rational agent. So, rational agent is an agent that does the right thing. Uh, but how do we know whether an agent is doing the right thing or not? To determine that, we need something called a performance measure. So, performance measure is required to determine if the agent is doing the right thing or not. If we go back to our example from the last class, the vacuum cleaner agent, a possible performance measure for this agent would be the amount of dirt that is cleaned by the agent. Uh, however, this may not be a correct performance measure because uh, if this is the performance measure, then what the agent would do is that it will clean the room in time step 1 to clean all the dirt and in time step 2, it will again throw back all the dirt and then in time step 3, it will again clean the same dirt and then it will again throw it back and it will keep in repeat, repeating in repeating that sequence like cleaning the room then making the room dirty cleaning the room again and making the room dirty because that is the way it can maximize this performance measure of amount of dirt that is cleaned so so although the rational agent is trying to maximize this performance but maybe this is not what we would want from a rational agent. Uh, but if we keep our performance measure as is mentioned here, uh, this is the behavior that we may see from the agent. So instead, a more better performance measure would be that we would award one point uh, for each clean square at each time step uh, so every time step we will see whether the room is clean or not and if it is clean we will award one point and maybe we will deduct one point if the room is dirty so now if we keep our performance measure uh, as as is mentioned here this would prevent uh, the previous behavior that we that we discussed for the agent because now the agent would not clean the room and in the next time step it will not make the room dirty because if it makes the room dirty in the next time step it will lose one point it will not gain that one point so so it is important how we specify the performance measure of performance measure for the agent and actually actually we can also add penalty for the amount of electricity consumed and the amount of noise generated to make the performance measure even better so how to specify the performance measure uh, as a general rule it is better to design performance measures according to what one actually wants in the environment rather than according to how one thinks the agent should behave so in this case we want a clean environment and that's how we should award point we should award point for each clean clean square at each time step so that is what because that is what we de desire to be in the environment so, so now uh, what is rational at a given instant of time uh, depends on four different things the num number one is the performance measure that defines the criteria for success the agent's prior knowledge of the environment the actions that the agent can perform and the agent's percept sequence to date so these four um, things determines whether uh, determines what is rational at a given instant of time and uh, determine what's the definition of a rational agent 
so the rational agent can be defined as follows for each possible percept sequence a rational agent should select an action that is expected to maximize its performance measure given the evidence provided by the percept sequence and whatever built in knowledge the agent has so this definition incorporates all the four things that is mentioned above uh, so the rational agent should maximize uh, the rational agent should select an action that is expected to maximize its performance measure uh, given the evidence provided by the percept sequence and whatever the agent built in knowledge the agent has with that we would go to uh, the task environment so what is the task environment the task environment includes the performance measure the external environment the actuators and the sensors this four uh, combines to specify a task environment and uh, the task environment is also called the p's description where p stands for performance measure e stands for environment a stands for actuator and s stands for uh, sensors uh, if we take the example of a agent which drives the taxi uh, and let's try to understand the piece description for this agent so the performance measure for uh, this agent would be how safely the agent is driving how fast the agent is driving whether the agent is following the traffic rules or not uh, is it um, is it uh, providing a comfortable trip to its customer and whether it is uh, maximizing profits by reducing the amount of uh, fuel consumed uh, consumed and so on uh, the environment for this agent would be uh, the different types of roads uh, other traffic that is that are present in the road uh, pedestrians it has to consider pedestrian pedestrians and also it has to consider the customer who is uh, driving in its car uh, the actuators for this agent would be uh, the steering wheel uh, the accelerator the brake signal a horn and then the display uh, and the sensors for for it would include uh, the cameras, uh, sonar, uh, speedometer, and GPS, odometer, accelerometer, engine sensors, and the keyboard. So, using these sensors, it will uh, sense the environment. Um, here we can see uh, more different types of agents. Uh, for example, it lists uh, agent which performs uh, medical diagnosis, uh, then agent which analyzes satellite image, another agent which uh, picks up parts from the conveyor belt, uh, then a refinery controller, and an interactive English tutor. And the piece description is given for each of the agent. As we can see, for the medical diagnosis system uh, the performance measure would be whether it is uh, having healthy patients and it is and whether it is reducing the cost uh, the environment would include a patient hospital and staff the actuators would include display of questions that the patient can answer uh, tests uh, display of test uh, diagnosis treatment and referrals and the sensor would include keyboard entry of symptoms by the patient uh, then findings of the tests and patients answers to questions being asked on uh, the satellite image analysis system the performance measure would be whether it is uh, it is whether it is able to correctly categorize the images like this is urban area this is a rural area or this is like water body um, and then the environment includes downlink from orbiting satellite 
the x vectors would be display of scene categorization and sensors would be color pixel arrays for the part picking robots uh, which is picking up parts from a conveyor belt there may be different types of parts part a part b part c uh, the performance measure is uh, percentage of parts in correct bins whether we are placing whether the robot is placing all the all the parts of type a in bin a all the parts of type b in bin b and so on whether it is uh, placing the parts in the correct bins or not um, the environment would include the conveyor belt in which the parts are moving and of course the bins where the robot will put the parts back and the actuators would be its arm the arm that the robot have and hand um, and the sensors would include a camera and joint angle sensors for the refinery controller uh, the performance measure would be the purity uh, the yield and the safety the environment would be the refinery and the operators and the actuators would be valve pumps heaters and displays and the sensors would be sensors to dis uh, sense temperature pressure and chemical sensors uh, for the interactive english tutor as not the performance measure would be students score on test uh, how well the students are performing the environment would be the set of students and the testing agency and actuators would include display of exercise exercises uh, suggestions corrections and the sensor would be keyboard entry so these are the piece description for five different types of agents so with that i would like to end my class today so in this class we saw what is actually a rational agent and to determine whether an agent is rational or not we need to have performance measure and when we set the performance measure it is important to specify the performance measure correctly and then we looked at the task environment and the piece description uh, for different agents so with that i like to end my class today uh, see you in the next class bye